Jamais, you want to learn a real song, do you? Well, that's good. We're going to use chords of G for Penny Lane. The key is as your ear explained to you. The key of B. So it's capable four. Bup, 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 bup. Now this shape is a B chord. We're going to do a walk down that includes a cool uh, D with an F sharp bass played with the thumb. So it. Penny Lane, the and the E minor, D to C to A minor, D, D. It's our first progression, so we have. My, oh, or B minor, depending on what we're calling these chords, right? Let's call them uh, from the family of G, since we're using those shapes in the capo. So G minor is, of course, based on E minor. And we're using our finger to capo up. All right, see that? Yeah, so it's... Now... This next chord is an E minor, but it sounds really good if you play a different sh uh, shape. So here's D minor, as you remember, which means that if I slide this up two frets, I'm playing an E minor. But I wanna look at a really cool minor shape today that's actually based on this shape plus a position on the fourth string. That's where this guy goes to the fourth string, fifth fret, and the index finger goes to the third string, fourth fret, and we end up with this. Isn't that a cool shape? All right. So. And next up, we're gonna play the same idea. We're gonna learn another shape. This one is the major version of that same thing. The uh, minor note is actually on that fourth string. So we're gonna play E minor, followed by E flat major, which looks like this. Look at that. minor B flat major based on the A shape D7 that's pretty much the whole song so that's a lot to work upon look at it step by step piece by piece and see what you can build for me for next week <laughs> focused playing Focused. Mm -hmm. Yeah.